low teacher salaries, poor learning facilities, and lack of stationaries were among the challenges cited by the county officials, in which they said hampering progress and quest for quality education in Toynos County of Arab State. The representatives of graduates and parents who spoke during the event called for improving and creating a conducive learning environment, provision of stationaries, and improving living conditions of the teachers. Actually, the future I've seen before starting the, the college that I'm doing, because it was my professional, studying it like I will help South Sudanese. Like the time I've started, I can say now I've worked to South Sudan, all not only that, not only saying quantity. I've been working in Raja, and now I'm in, here working in Toynot. So it's like I'm supporting my community, when I'm working even the same with the government. With the, with the payment that we have, we have, I have accepted that and encouraging some of my colleagues who are just at home so that they can study and we help our community. Women or particular girls are in gallops with a lot of problems, yeah. home issues, the culture itself. How did you make it to go there? Uh, for sure I've been having some challenges like uh, maybe some can see me like a small young girl. But to dear ladies in South Sudan, I can say that whom you are seeing in front of you now is someone who has faced challenges. Even I gave birth when I was in the college, I still continue like that. My parents abandoned me, I was just moving alone. But I did not give up. I brought up that example for you, my dear ladies and women. It doesn't mean that you are married, 
it can stop you from continuing with your education. It doesn't mean that if you are pregnant, you cannot continue with your education. The, I can prove to you that that one is totally a lie. I continue with my education when my parents have abandoned me. That is the challenge I went through. I can encourage you that you can move on. I've, I've put on this one today to encourage you. Not that today is my graduation day, no. My name is Emmanuel, Emmanuel Melwil Wek. Of course, I'm happy to be among the teachers because most of my teachers have been teaching me voluntarily. They were volunteer teachers and me, I'm happy to acquire the certificate today of which I'm going to help seriously in the field of education. I'm going to teach, I'm going to contribute a lot. Though there is money or no money, I will still uh, contribute toward the successful education in South Sudan. <laughs>
This occasion held in Waraf Town is an attempt by Pante Students Union in the University of Bar Gizal in Wau to motivate and send a signal to the parents to enroll their children to the learning institutions. According to the organizers, the event is the first of its kind to be conducted in Kwante area that brought together 29 graduates, including four females and 25 male students who completed their studies from public and private prestigious universities and colleges. In Arabic states, the motto of this government is to encourage education. And this is why the high delegation is here today. Thank you, Your Excellency, the Governor of Arabic State, for prioritizing the education program in Arabic State. The sciences are not there. And this is the problem we have in the, in the system. We don't have science teachers, of which some of these students already in system. So what we are going to do in the secondary school around here, in the special in Pointe, is that we are going to upgrade them. And we look forward for other students who have not been in the system, we can also we shall recruit them so that we have enough teachers. Now issues of languages will have no problem. But the problem with the other uh, subject courses like uh, mathematics, uh, agriculture and sciences. Seeing our co communal conflict uh, raising, the school have been closed down and most of them now well, they are of history and uh, languages. So we need them to help our students to go back to school, to come to, uh, to study here, our students. Tell us challenges facing education sector in your county. Okay, we are facing uh, the, the, the problem of uh, salaries in education. Some of them, they are volunteers themselves to study, our, to, to, to teach our students. And some of them, they are went to the uh, organization to work there because they did receive a very good uh, salaries in terms of education. So these are our challenges. Fayams like Kirik, the Royal Bed, and other far fayams that are no roads connecting them. What is happening there? How is the education going on there? Yeah, these students actually, they, they are facing a very big challenges. Uh, seeing uh, the communal conflict up to date, there's no any school opening there. The event was attended by the Minister of Local Government and Law Enforcement Agencies, Minister for General Education and Instruction, Minister for Information and Communication, Minister for Labor and Public Service, and Minister for Trade and Industry of Arab State, among other dignitaries. <laughs> The example from my brothers and sisters. I saw sisters, uh, my sisters are many. That is very, 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 very good. I think they not. Let us clap our hands for our girls who have succeeded to finish their studies. It's a great joy to us because many of our girls are being deprived of education. And yet, the women are the engine of the world. Without women, Men, you are incapable. May I ask the commissioner, you are here with us. Without a woman, would we be here? Ministers who are present there, without a woman, would we be here? Nothing.
Therefore, don't take the education of women seriously. My brothers and sisters, you are, you are already brothers. Some of you are waiting. You know where you are feet. I caution you of corruption. I caution you of theft. Your studies is for serving the people of South Sudan. Be generous to us. Today you are there. This first degree is not yet still enough. I would love tomorrow to come and celebrate with you a PhD. I would love to come in your family to celebrate with you a medical doctor or an engineer. We here we have come to see you. Whether you will bring change to join us. Bring us change. There are teachers. We in Kobori we love teachers. Uh, we are really happy on behalf of the governor of Barab State, His Excellency, Brigadier General Maniam Bol Malik, for having have these important graduates in this government. Now we have received a lot of challenges on the side of those who have just graduated. There is a need for the state government to make sure that these graduates have to be uh, seen and put uh, in a way that they can be accommodated in the state government. The officials used the occasion to appeal for reconciliation, healing and forgiveness among the communities in the area. Daniel Marengwe, SSBC News, War of Town. <laughs>